Welcome along to Mandela Park and to Pit Lane for runs five and six of the Dunlop Masters Supersport Championship. Before we get the action underway today, we'll grab a chat to some of the riders. Yeah, we're getting there. The bike is box down to, would you believe? It doesn't even have a pole commander. Just straight off the road, put on road fairings, put on the suspension, all in suspension, and that was it. She's ready to go. It's a play to see that Brian is back to his old self again, but um, we're a bit closer off the line now, so hopefully we made a few changes. Hopefully they'll work and we can maybe bridge the gap a little bit and see what we can do. Today's a long day and I'm getting too old for four, four races in a row now, so it's going to be tough going. But um, look, the bike, mega bikes on one race and R6 is mint, it's brand new. There's only 20 miles on the bike, so. Yeah, it certainly has been a heck of a weekend for Brian McCormick and he's on pole in that brand new Yamaha. Alongside him, Raymond Casey and Andrew Murphy. Road two, Dave Butler, Daryl Sharkey, the leading cup contender and Michael Owens also in the cup category. They are on the second row of the grid. Eight laps ahead of us on the international track, 3.5 kilometers. McCormick gets a good start and leads them into the first corner on that brand new Yamaha R6. Some weekend for the Waterford rider, having won all three superbike races as well. And he leads them into turn three. Casey, Andrew Murphy, they're the one, two, three. Cormac in front, leading up to the Isle of Man TT. He had hoped to do the Northwest 200, but he's racing here at Mondello instead. Casey in second place. They would have turned right in the opening round of the national track, but this is the international track, and this is the Lola Corner for the very first time. Cormac has got a decent lead, hasn't he? And this only the first lap of eight on this 3.5 kilometer track as they head down towards turns 7A and 7B. Casey in second place. A good start by the Kawasaki of Dublin's Dave Butler. And he's currently third. Through Bahrain's bends they go. Sweeping left-hander. McCormick really has opened up a big lead. End of lap one. McCormick leads from Casey. Andrew Murphy's got past Butler now and he's taken third. They're in the pro class. The cup class is being led by Tyrone's Michael Owen, also one of the R6. Also winner of the cup class in race one this weekend. So a very good start for the Tyrone rider. Six rounds of the Dunlop Supersport Championship for 2019. In each round contains three races. This is race two. Race one won by McCormack on that brand new R6. We were due to see Donegal's Keelan Irwin this weekend. He was entered in the opening three races in round one, but he's not here this weekend. His main focus for 2019 is the Superstock 600 Championship. The red flag, though, is out. And I think that's Sligo's David Duffy who's down off the Kawasaki. Yes, it is Duffy down. So he will have a restart. He can't remount. The red flag. Murphy on the outside of row one. Casey alongside on the Kawasaki. Just waiting for McCormick now to come through. You can see him there at the back, just working his way through to the front row of the grid once again. So they'll regrid. And try again. Brian McCormick on pole then from Raymond Casey, Andrew Murphy on the front row. Dave Butler, Daryl Sharkey, Michael Owens. Sharkey and Owens, the leading cup contenders for this race. And away they go once again. And McCormick takes the lead down into turn two. And it's turn three, they will go for this uh, restarted race. Climbing the hill back towards the Bridgestone S as they go. Turning left hand and then out in towards Lola Corner. Super sport based on mid sized motorcycles. 600 to 750cc production based. Bikes can reach 160 miles an hour down into turn seven. 
As the riders going through. Oops, somebody on the grass. That's Anthony O'Carroll on the Kawasaki, the Kerry rider. Demoted to last place, but he gets going again. Oh, and down goes Daryl Sharkey. What a shame. Third in race three in round one. A non-finisher today. He can't remount. Sharkey took maximum cup points in race two. And race three in round one. And he led the cup class before this weekend. But he can't remount and his race is over. That's a real shame for Sharkey. But up ahead, McCormick is blitzing the rest of the field. The yellow flag's being shown into Brain's bends after Sharkey's off. So Michael Owens now leads the cup class ahead of Dave Butler. And that's Graham Whitmore. Trevor Lander's also there on the Kawasaki. This long sweeping left-hander before they head towards the back of the paddock. Comer goes through. Casey and then Murphy. Murphy sticks the leg out. Whitmore. See him there, center shot. This goes a little wide off the racing line. Owens through. Ahead of Butler, Whitmore and Landers as they finish that lap. Various different track combinations being used here at Mondello for the races this year. The opening race of the championship saw them on the national track. This is on the international circuit. It's 3.5 kilometers in length. Michael Owens still fourth on the R6, winner of the Cup Class in the opening race of the weekend. Now heading for another Cup Class win here. Good challenge Sharkey for the overall lead in the class now that Sharkey's out of the race. And towards Lola Corner they go. Now Whitmore, oh, he's gone straight on. Gonna have to work to extricate himself from the gravel trap at turn 7A. Meanwhile back with Trevor Landers. Heading towards the back of the paddock. And Whitmore finally extricates himself and heads towards Bahrain's Benz. We're back with the leader. Two laps to go now. McCormick way out in front. Looking for his second Super Sport win of the weekend. Three wins as well in the Superbike series. McCormick still leads them. Casey, Murphy and Owens. Here comes Butler. Hugo Higgins is behind Butler in the battle for fifth. So Higgins, a non-finisher in race one this weekend. His way up through the field. Into turn three they go. McCormick still leads. It's Murphy closing in on Casey with one lap to go. Murphy back in the Super Sports after an absence of 10 years. He damaged his superbike and is racing today on a Yamaha R6 loaned to him by the Twins Championship sponsor, PCRS Bike Sport. Casey three seconds in four races. He didn't finish race three in the previous round. Murphy, his debut in the series, really is all about McCormick. Heck of a weekend for the man from Tremor. Casey in second place and Murphy in third. Here's the leading cup class man, Michael Owens from Tyrone. Fourth overall in leading the cup class. Down to Lola Kona they go for the last time. right hander really opens up before they head down Daly's Drift into turn 7A and 7B they climb this rise up towards Bahrain's Bends and then these series of right and then long sweeping left hander in towards the back of the paddock Murphy's closing in alright has he got enough time though to close down Casey on this, the last lap, no problems for McCormick. It's going to be another easy win. Won the opening race of this weekend. Has a little look behind him. Nothing behind him. Except Casey and Murphy battling for second place. Casey's going to hold on, so McCormick wins easy. Casey in second place.
And the third home is Murphy. So an easy win. Five laps after the red flag was shown to end that round. And it's Brian McCormick who wins ahead of Raymond Casey and Andrew Murphy. Good race for Tyrone's Michael Owens who finishes fourth and also takes maximum points in the cup class. Trevor Landers and Ian Prendergast, the 1-2-3 in the cup series. As you said, you really have to work to get on the podium because there's so many lads on the same time. You just... You can't relax, you can't miss an apex. It's, when you do get a podium, you've worked for it. Yeah, it's unbelievable to be on the podium here with such talent. You know, the boys are unbelievable. The times are just crazy at the moment for cup riders. Um, I'm pure chuffed. I'm delighted. I came here on Friday. It was my first time around the international circuit on the 600. So to be even in the top three, I'm over the moon. And my team hasn't worked hard enough to get me here. So just happy to take my first couple of wins this weekend. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's my first time uh, racing a super sport bike in about 10 years, so it is. I'm usually on super bike, but um, I crashed my super bike in the last round, broke the frame, so I couldn't get out in this round. But uh, Philip Case, PCRS uh, Bike Sport, um, he's my usual sponsor. He helps me with suspension. He came on board and he say he said to use his R6 at the weekend, so I, I said I gladly uh, accepted this and um, got the podium. Very happy with it. Brian is just so quick off the mark, like I really need to up my first lap to try and stay with him a little bit. But um, in the first race I felt a lot more comfortable when we had the red flag and went back over the second race. I was just I think I was over trying and he got me even a bit more so and I let the lads behind me creep in but look all in all it was a good weekend. We changed some stuff on the bike and we're trying to fine tune it like and we're getting there we're getting there slowly. Look, the bike never missed a beat. There's twenty six miles on that bike. She's brand new. It's not even running yet, I'm sure it's running now, but um Husqvarna, uh, Roadhouse, Megabikes, everybody that put this on one racing bike together has been really late, late in the day. It's been brilliant, you know. So that concludes our action for round number five of the Dunlop Masters Super Sport Championship. We'll be back after this short break with the action in round number six. Welcome back to part two of the programme and to round number six of the Dunlop Masters Super Sport Championship. Raymond Casey and Andrew Murphy had a titanic battle for second position in round number five. But it was all about the big man from Tremor in County Waterford, Brian McCormick on his brand new R6 Yamaha, who took the spoils at the top of the field. Can he do it again in round number six? If you'd have told me I'd have been here during the week, I wouldn't have believed you, Lex. So just need to keep improving and just keep a rhythm during the race. You had a great run in the earlier race, you uh, top uh, cup rider. So uh, can you get on the podium in the, in the Super Sport race itself, I think? Uh, I'd like to try my best, but as long as I get the job done in my own race, I'll be happy enough. It's going to be unbelievable to be able to actually see the lights from here and go when they go out instead of following the lights in front of you. <laughs> so tell us, are you having fun? Uh, no, no. It's, it's, it's crazy out there. 146 is 147 is just crazy time for me now. No, I'm not enjoying any bit of it. <laughs> are you glad you uh, traded up the machine? Oh, absolutely. Look, I had to do something. And Kawasaki, some bike. Serious yeah. Only I'm not good enough for that. It's Luke O'Higgins on pole then, Michael Owens, he's on the front row of the grid, Trevor Landers alongside him, then it's McCormick, Casey and Andrew Murphy on the second row of the grid. And away they go. And Owens leads them, fantastic, the teenager ahead of the old man, Brian McCormick, he'll be delighted, Owens from Tyrone. Son of the former 125cc and sidecar racer Phelan Owens. He only began circuit racing last year. Previously raced in carts, a cadet champion before his thoughts turned towards motorcycle racing. Also did mini bike races in 2016. McCormick, though, shows who's boss. Goes round the outside into Bridgestone S's. What a weekend it's been for the man from Tremor. Three Superbike wins, two Supersport wins. Looking for the hat trick on that brand new Yamaha R6. Just 20 odd miles on the clock before he started racing this weekend. And already he's streaking away from the rest. Thinks he indeed had a little look at Owens. It's a Lola corner, 3.5 kilometer this international circuit. Final race of the weekend. Graham Whitmore at the back of that train went off. Just there, going into that corner in the previous race. And to Bahrain's bends they go. McCormick leading from Owens. Really one for the future. The youngster from Tyrone. Okay, 
Casey has a look at Owens going into Southside Motor Factor's corner, but that's good racing from the youngster. Just slams the door shut. Final race of three for the 600cc machines in the Super Sport Cup. Luca Higgins, who was on pole, now done fourth place. And Casey takes second from Owens into turn one. Good maneuver, laid on the brakes there. So can Casey catch McCormack? He hasn't done it this weekend, so it's doubtful, but he's up in the second place now. And Owens indeed has his mirrors full of O'Higgins. And O'Higgins dives under Owens to take third place. And now can he get after Casey? It's the final race of the weekend for the Super Sports. McCormick, Casey and Murphy, the 1-2-3 in both races this weekend. Owens, the teenager from Tyrone, winning the maximum in the cup class. Well pleased with that. He's mixing it with the pro riders. Down towards turn 7A and 7B they go. That's the rider streaming through. Busy weekend, as always, in the Dunlop Masters Series. Three races for Super Sports. Lily is going through Bahrain's Benz, through the back of the paddock. Casey O'Higgins owns Murphy, second, third, fourth, and fifth. McCormick is already up the road on the way to the hat trick. Dunlop Masters Superbike Championship, of which the Super Sports Series is a support, and indeed a feeder class is Ireland's biggest motorcycle racing championship. And it really does attract the best of Ireland's short circuit racers. The series has run since 2011. The main support to the Superbikes. Following a bit of a lean season back in 2018, the grids have certainly been growing with the introduction of some new riders and returning riders on some new machinery. And having damaged his superbike at the season opener, Andrew Murphy in fifth behind Owens, making his Supersport debut this weekend, riding that Yamaha R6. He's picked up two third places so far this weekend. Off Lola corner they go. There's the leader, McCormick, KC. Higgins is in third place. Murphy right behind him now. He's got past Owens. Higgins, the man from Clontarf, second in the Super Sport Cup in 2016. The third year engineering student at Trinity College. Loves his bikes, he's been telling us. He's a big supporter of rugby GA and hurling to race in the ESB Superstocks sometime in the future. Cormac, Casey, Murphy's now got past Owens, has he? And past O'Higgins as well. And he's up to third place now. Real concentration though on the man leading, Brian McCormack. Secured a splendid 10th place in the senior TT on a BMW. So he's staying with that German machine for this year's TT. Hoping to boast his chances of a repeat performance this year. McCormick doing selected rounds of the Irish and British Superbike Series in 2019. So as you were from races 1 and 2 this weekend, McCormick... Casey, Murphy, O'Higgins. Still there in fourth place now on the penultimate lap. Murphy trying to close in on Casey for second place. The man in second place, Raymond Casey, will make his debut himself this year on the Isle of Man TT. 34-year-old, first rider from Cork to compete at the TT since Mike O'Connor way back in 1992. He's competing in two Monster Energy Super Sport TT races. Casey actually leads the Super Sports Series now after five races with four second places. He certainly would cement that lead with another second place today. Casey now trying to hold off Murphy. Murphy, the slow enough start to this race. Up towards Southside Motor Factors corner they come. And Murphy certainly is closing in on Casey. Coming way, way out in front. That's the flag for the last lap. 
Higgins in fourth place ahead of Michael Owens, the 18 year old, still leading the cup class. But up ahead, McCormack on his way to his sixth race win of the weekend. Sensational from the Tremor man. Casey will lead the championship if he finishes in second place and he can hold off the hard charging Andrew Murphy. Down to the Bridgestone Ness as they come for the last time. Bright sunny afternoon, perfect conditions here for this super sport race at Mondello Park. Down towards Lola Corner they go. Higgins in fourth place, Owens in fifth. Heck of a lead, McCormick has. Casey and Murphy together. McCormick though, up into Bahrain's bends for the last time. Murphy is definitely closer to Casey. Well, there's just two bike lengths between them now. Will Murphy fancy going diving down the inside as they come up towards Southside Motor Factors corner? He's very close. That sweeping left hander will take him to the back of the paddocks. No problems for McCormack up front to Southside Motor Factors corner for the very last time to complete a remarkable six race wins this weekend. And a hat trick on the Super Sports takes the checkered flag. The man from Tremor. Casey holds on to take second place. Third home, it's Andrew Murphy. Here comes. Luca Higgins and Michael Owens wins the cup class. So the one, two, three, Brian McCormack, Raymond Casey and Andrew Murphy in the championship. Raymond Casey now leads in second place. Killen Irwin, who didn't race this weekend. Brian McCormack, by those three wins, is joint second place in the cup class. The winner, Michael Owens, ahead of Daryl Sharkey and Ian Prendergast in third. In the Super Sport Cup, Michael Owens leads ahead of Ian Prendergast and Daryl Sharkey. A bit of sliding going on out there, the temperature is after coming up, but I'm delighted to be back up on the podium again. Great race, a uh, bit of problem with the gearbox, couldn't get gears, um, but Ian and, and Trevor now, they were hard passed, hard got, but made a few mistakes, caught them back up, so. Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted, it's definitely something that I'm going to remember for a long time, it was just a super day and the Beata West Trophy, I'm very appreciative and happy to hold it for another while. Yeah, I definitely made work for myself there. I don't know if it was a sixth or seventh off the line there and just plugged away there and managed to manage to get home. But I thought I might have Ray there in the last corner, but he just, just got me into the corner. Just wasn't close enough to make him on the brakes, but that's where I was. Happy to come home anyway. Uh, I saw when I came around the last lap, I had a plus one the lap before, and as I came around, my lads pulled the one off the pit board, so I knew <laughs> I'd made a big mistake in Parabolica, so I knew he was going to be a bit closer. Like So I was just right, just trying to hit my marks on the last lap, and I knew he'd have to do something fairly big to, to get by me like so that was just get through that lap. Nah look it went really well again we got um I was a bit worried about the reverse grid you know it was a uh, super sport was kind of known for bumping and barging so I got a kind of a clean start and got away behind young Owens and uh, I kind of got him fairly fairly quickly so I said right put your head down for the first two or three laps but then the tire just went away from me altogether so I said right I had a plus three on my board or something so I said just sit in that then and just right around to be honest I have another race to come now so and a big bike so try and save some energy for that. So that concludes our action here for rounds number five and six of the Dunlop Masters Supersport Championship. And it was the big man from Tremor in County Waterford, Brian McCormack on his new R6 Yamaha, who was a dominant force at the front of the field. Corkman Ray Casey had a stellar performance with three second positions. Andrew Murphy was in cracking form, taking a fine podium position in third spot. And remember folks, we'll be back in action here in Mandela Park in a couple of weeks time with rounds number eight and nine. But until then, take care.